Hi, in my last video, I shared the right mindset you should have if you want to boost your finances. Now today, I'll be sharing seven wonderful side hustles you can engage in to boost your finances as you move along. Everybody needs extra, uh, some extra cash and this side hustles, they are proven and tested and I'm sure that you can make at least $100 per day if you do your work right and then you use the mindset we shared in the previous video. Woo! Now, this idea is as simple side hustles you can do with little or no money or no experience at all. All you need is probably your time, your laptop, and your data, and then you're, you're good to go to make money. Plus, it gives you so much flexibility to walk around and still have your time to yourself. Now, let me be clear. It is, this, these are not get-rich-quick schemes. If you want to get rich quick, perhaps this is not the place. These are ways to make at least $100 per day if that interests you. Please. Let's go along together. Now, for each of the side hustles, I will be giving you the estimate of what you can make per hour based on the estimates I found on Indeed.com. So you can also check it out yourself. Top of my list is freelance editor. Now, you can be a freelance editor, which means that you're going to be editing grammar, language, punctuations, and language flow and grammatical usage in materials for people. Um, companies, researchers, educational spaces, marketing uh, um, outfits are looking for editors every day. Even researchers, academics are looking for publishers, are looking for editors every day. And if it's something you want to do, all you need is just your laptop, your la good language skills, time to edit. And you can make an average of $58 per hour, depending on how much work you can get done in that hour. Now, most of those hustles depend on how much work you can do. In addition to your responsibility as an editor, you might also want to um, give other services such as writing and content development for your clients, if this is something you'd like to do. Number two on my list is freelance transcriber. Now you're the person that listens to an audio or video file, live or recorded, and then you type what you hear. If you check for errors, make sure everything is in line, you submit and you get paid just like that. Now, there are a lot of industries looking for this, like government industries, like um, like uh, like corporate world, people, marketing industries as well, people that want to convert their Zoom or online meetings into text so that they can, you know, for record purposes. Guess what? With this, you can work freelance, you can work from home. Once you understand the language, you can type, which I pretty much think everybody can do. You have access to a laptop, you have access to um, 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 internet, headphones to, to use to listen, you're good to go. And guess what? You literally determine how much you make depending on how fast you can type. But on the average, you can make $20 per hour doing this. So the more you type, the more money you rake in. So you can conveniently make $100 per day. Number three on my list is online surveys. Many companies use online surveys to conduct market research. So it has been proven to be a very profitable venture because it, it requires little or no experience. Although you may have to check if you qualify for certain surveys based on some, some requirements, maybe in your lifestyle, or if those survey web companies are op in operation in your country. So with your phone or laptop and, and time and internet, you can always work with product producers, marketing companies, or survey firms for online surveys. And you can make an average of $26 per hour based on the Indeed.com estimates. Number four is product review or testers. Now, they are very close to those that take online surveys, but those guys are hired by marketing companies to use products and test products before they hit market, you know, new products, and make sure that they give their reviews and their feedbacks on the pros and cons of the product before this new product hit the market. Now, the perk of this is that you get to use products even before anybody uses them at all. And again, having used them and tested them, you still get to keep them and probably still get paid for your services for reviewing such products or testing such products. So by using your phone or your laptop to set up your online um, platform as a product reviewer and a pr product tester, you get to make your $46 per hour and still keep products. Fantastic, right? Now, the fifth one on my list is a virtual assistant. Now, this is a person who works mostly remotely because it's virtual. And then he, he or she would help with responsibilities such as social media managing, bookkeeping, scheduling meetings, answering emails. Now, since COVID happened and then social media boomed, 
there's this growing need for virtual assistants um, by by business owners and project um, handlers who need people to help assist them in scheduling their day to day and maybe boosting their online profiles. As a virtual assistant, you can make $22 per hour on the average now, working with corporate executives, government executives, um, um, CEOs, individuals, NGOs, just with your laptop, phone, your internet, and you're good to go. Number six is being a research assistant. Now, you can work online or physically depending on your bargain with whoever you're assisting. Now, in this responsibility, you get to research topics and probably give reports or write reports, schedule meetings, uh, manage data, compile data, give reports on data, and do whatever is required within the capacity of a research assistant. Research assistants typically work with busy academics, PhDs, or research students who are busy, but then they have other things they are doing and they need somebody to help them with basic research to answer emails, to schedule meetings, and all that. And you can make an average of $20 just with your laptop and basic organization skills. Now, the final side hustle I'm going to share with you is online teaching and tutoring. You can earn money teaching online by creating a video course or teaching customized lessons to, to students online as well, based on your knowledge and experience. So with your knowledge and experience and packaging yourself, you can make at least $25 per hour Teaching online, there are tons of platforms, um, tutor.com, um, skillshare.com, a few of those. I'll link some of them again in the description so that you can follow them. Now, before I go into how to start a side hustle, which is a, a bonus tip for you today, please, if this video has been helpful, you may want to share, like, and subscribe so that we can get more content like this. Thank you so much. So how do you start your side hustle? Number one. Please choose something simple and something you're passionate about. Leverage on your existing knowledge and skill and experience so that you don't have to really start looking for new skills. Number two is to locate your target market. It may be your current network, your friends, or maybe another location. Number three is to market yourself. Market yourself and make sure that you sell yourself well. Number four is to make sure that you create time for this side hustle in your daily schedule. And number five, please, your primary responsibilities Maybe as a student or a worker should not suffer. Make sure that doesn't suffer because again, it will be that you're working against yourself. Number six and my final tip is to make sure that you keep researching and improving on yourself in this your side hustle. Who knows? Your side hustle might just become your main hustle. So keep, keep at it and I wish you all the best. So please feel free to add to this list in the comment section. You may have ideas about other side hustles that we can do to boost our finances please feel free to add it in the comment section. Thank you so much. Now, a very final tip and a bonus tip for you is, is that volunteering and volunteerism is a very great way to sell yourself and have access to people. Now, watch out for my video on the ways to volunteer your way to success. Secondly, you may notice that I did not include gigs like um, or YouTube in content creation, affiliate marketing in my list of of side hustles that you can do. This is because they are more of long-term ventures, whereas the, what we are talking about today are things that pay you immediately like that. So YouTubing, content creation, blogging, affiliate marketing are very good ventures, but then they pay you long-term. It's a long-term thing. So you cannot really make money right now. You just have to invest time and effort and keep hoping that something happens. But all other side hustles I shared today are going to pay you immediately if you apply the right strategy. So thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.